Welcome to Your Daily Dose, a devotion ministry of the Faith Baptist Church of Franklin and Middletown, Ohio. Thanks for joining us each weekday as we share God's Word with you. It's your daily prescription for all that ails you. And now, Your Daily Dose. Well, good morning and welcome to Your Daily Dose. It's such a privilege as a member of Faith Baptist Church in Franklin, Middletown to be able to record these messages and hopefully they will bring some joy and some answers into your life. Uh, as we study the Word of God, it is important that we look at it at all angles as opposed to just reading it. And of course, this is why our Father tells us, study to show thyself approved. He didn't say read it, he said study it. <clears throat> Well, <clears throat> the way the Bible was written 2,000 or so years ago, uh, we don't talk that way so much anymore. So it's a little difficult sometimes to piece it together and understand exactly what it is that the Lord's telling us. So <clears throat> as I thought about this, if you would open your Bibles to the book of Psalms, and Psalm 15, uh, it's a short psalm, and I'll read it, and then we'll talk about it a little bit. <clears throat> psalm 15 is a psalm of David, and he is posing the question, and he says, Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle, and who shall dwell on thy holy hill? And God answers him in the next verse, he says, he that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart, he that backbiteth not with his tongue, nor do evil to his neighbor, nor take up a reproach against his neighbor, in whose eyes a vile person is a contented, and he honors them that fear the Lord. He that sweareth to his own hurt and changes not, he that put, putteth not out his money for usury, nor take reward against the innocent. He that doeth these things shall never be moved. So, if we go back to the very beginning of this uh, psalm, David is posing not necessarily who's going to heaven, but how we should conduct ourselves in the expectation of, of the Lord Jesus Christ. So it's without question we realize now uh, in this dispensation of time, the period of grace, that we are looking back to the cross. The psalm was written by David. He was looking forward to the coming Messiah, the, the forward to the cross. There's two different dispensations of time involved. There was a, a dispensation of law, which was in the Old Testament. And now, after the crucifixion, death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are in a new dispensation, and that being the church age, or the dispensation of grace. So, uh, he does not, David does not leave out trust or mercy or salvation in his statement. We must understand that in the Old Testament, the word for trust translates in the New Testament to that of grace. So it's one of the same. So in God's answer to who will abide he says, he that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. Well, when was the last time you used the word righteousness in the general conversation of your life? Outside of church, we don't really talk about righteousness. And I wonder as I read and I study, do people really understand what it means? And it's really a simple translation. Righteousness is right living. God expects you and I to live 
to the best of our ability according to his commandments. So it is critical on our part that we understand what those commandments are. Uh, we are God's representative, if you would. Um, I've often heard people say, you and I are a walking testimony, and we are. You never realize or never dawns on you what people or which people are actually watching your lives. And there are people that watch and see exactly what you do and how you do it and how you react to something. Uh, I, I know a while back, I got the opportunity to teach Sunday school. And in that hour, I was telling the class that we have to walk as a proper son or a proper daughter. Um, let me give you a, an example of it in my own life, if I may. Uh, and maybe it'll help you understand. Uh, most of you know that I was a state trooper. I was uh, assigned Muskingum County in the eastern part of Ohio. When I got promoted and transferred down here to Butler County, uh, my son was in the seventh grade and my daughter was in the third. Well, one day my son said to me, he said, Dad, can we take a walk? And I said, well, sure. That's what we always did when we wanted to dis discuss something very serious in our life. And I said, we went for a walk, and I said, what can I do for you? What's your problem? And he said, you've always cut my hair, Dad. And I says, I get a highway patrol haircut or a Baptist haircut, whatever you want to call it. It was high and tight. Um, when we were in Zanesville, I was a pretty big frog in a small pond. And I come down here, and this is a whole lot bigger pond, and I'm a lot smaller than I was. So I have to adjust to my peers, and they're wearing their hair a little bit longer than high and tight. So my question to you, Dad, is would it be all right if I went to a real barber and paid for a haircut? And I said, well, certainly, if that'll make you happy, that'll be fine. I was just doing it just so we had some special time together, but that's fine. If you want to go to the barber, you go to the barber. Now, why do you want to go to the barber? And he says, well, I want to wear my hair a little bit longer. And I said, all right, I understand that. And that's perfectly all right. You can wear it longer if it's in reason. If it gets too long, we're going out the garage and you and I are going to have a go around and you'll come out with a high and tight haircut. Do we understand each other? And he said, yes, certainly. I understand that. And I said, let me go one step further so you really, really understand. And this is the application I want to make on the daily dose to everybody. If I have used it in throughout my life, and uh, it's, it's, it's worked very, very, very well. You and I are God's children, and you and I represent God and the heavenly host. We are a walking testimony. So when they look at us, they should see Jesus Christ. They should not see the human form. As I told my son, when you walk down the streets of Trenton and people see you, they say, there goes a little Gordy Moore. The reason is you're not old enough to have your own reputation. So as whatever you do, it is a direct reflection on me. Whatever I do as a Christian and whatever you do as a Christian is a direct reflection on the Lord Jesus Christ. So God says, how many times do I have to tell you, walk uprightly, walk as a righteous man, 
be honest and fair in all of your dealings with mankind. Love your neighbors. Love your family. Be the son that God wants you to be. None of us are perfect. None of us can equate with the Lord Jesus Christ. What we can do is do the best we possibly can with what we have. And that's as far as you can go. And that's all God wants. He doesn't expect anything else. He expects you to honor him, love him, and do his bidding. And we must always, always remember, not only should we and do we represent Christ, we are assigned a task and we are to save a man, save a woman, save a child, save a family, save a nation. Our responsibility is go ye forth into all the world and preach the gospel to every living creature. If you have a difficult time expressing it, you can always hand out tracts. And tracts you know, is a wonderful ministry. People say, don't tell me, show me. And um, that's what we're trying, endeavoring to do. It's like this daily dose. Uh, it's an effort uh, for the church. And it's effort for the men of the church. But if we can help one person with one small problem, it's all worth it. So I hope that you have a good and enjoyable life. Uh, we'll close now with a word of prayer and go about our business for Christ. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for your love, your mercy, and your goodness. We thank you, Father, for your protection, your guidance. Uh, we're so thankful for who you are and what you are. Now bless us, bless this ministry, bless our church, bless our church family. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. This has been your Daily Dose, a ministry of Faith Baptist Church. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today and click the bell next to the button to sign up for email notifications each time we live stream or release a new video. To learn more about faith, please visit our website fitinatfaith.com for more information about our church. Have a great day in the Lord.